Okay, so this video is going to be about uh, manufacturing facilities and unlocking the remaining blueprints from there. You cannot get these particular blueprints from the anomaly. Um, you have to unlock them at manufacturing facilities and they're going to be super useful for making lots and lots of money with. Um, right, we are still on that bubble planet. Um, I showed you glitch, glitches you can pick up and stuff. What I didn't show you is the animals. Okay, now these planets only have one type of animal on them each. All right, so in this case, it's these blood balloons that are um, creating all of these bubbles. All right, that's another one of the bubble cluster glitches there. Let's pick that up. Which I can then place down from decorations, glitches, bubble cluster. Okay, and it's stored in my inventory. Um, right, so manufacturing facilities we'll get onto in just a second but as we've scanned the one and only animal on this planet that helps us towards our zoology milestone so you notice so far I've got nothing if I go to my discoveries uh, I can upload the individual animal that's fine but it doesn't count yet towards my milestone All right. I have to do it here Alright, and that's on any planet once you've got all of the, the animals, but these exotic planets are handy because they only ever have the one. So if I now go over to milestones, boom, that's one planet done. Okay, so these, these types of planets are the best place to do your zoology. Right, now I used a map a minute ago, which is one of these maps, the secure site of interest, and these will quite handily point you to a manufacturing facility or a depot or a um, operation centre. Depots are those um, quiet containers that you can shoot and destroy that the sentinels are guarding. Um, we don't really want them, we want manufacturing facilities and operation centres. I think it was in the last video that I found one of these naturally, um, but it wasn't working the way I wanted it to. Sometimes it is just random, it just randomly awards you something, but most of the time it does what I'm hoping it will now do. Okay, so I need to break the door open, the mining beam might do a thing to it, so I've got to switch weapons to something else. Kill these sentinels. Bit of a laugh. Okay, so you may remember I said something about saving before going in. If you can find a little save beacony thing around, then do that. There's one. Okay, so now if I mess this up when I go inside, it's not going to matter, I'll just reload my save. Okay, so we interact with the terminal. An alarm has locked the terminal. A message displays itself letter by letter on the screen. Now depending on how much words we've we've learnt, we might understand this a little bit, we might not understand it at all. Let's have a look. Right, the only word I understand is interloper, which is us. Hmm. The alarm shows no signs of stopping. I notice a wall-mounted security scanner slowly turning towards me. Okay, interesting. So if I had a microprocessor I'd have more options here. But I'm gonna shoot the cameras. Partial success, but not enough. Alright, so really we needed a microprocessor there. Okay, so I uh, to reload. Let's see if I could have made one. Can I make one yet? I could have made one. Alright, so yeah, let's reload. 
Now usually it's just a case of picking from different options, you don't usually need an item but every now and again it throws that little spanner in the works. And this is precisely why I used the little safe beacon just outside. Alright, here we go. It's no longer a storm. Yes, yes, I killed some sentinels, so we're all. Okay, so let's try again, only this time we'll use a microprose. Oh. Totally didn't create the microprocessor there, did I? Let's leave for a second. The carbon nanotubes. Microprocessor. Let's try again. Alright, which one are we going to try? Let's apply override chip then. Alright, okay. So that seems to have worked. Now, some of these. Um, some of these things I've, give, I've got you um, two different options that are correct so it might be that cutting the wires might have worked as well what they usually is is a, a right answer, an okay answer and a wrong answer and if you get the right answer you get two um, items to unlock here and if you get the okay answer you get one so let's find out right we want to learn new recipe and it brings us Right, I got two, so that was the right answer. Got two factory override units. So it brings us to this menu, and there's two different parts to it. All right. So everything on this part, the second part, is all about um, high-end crafting. So making really, really expensive items, which are the fusion igniter and the stasis device. Basically, what happens is the um, plants that we we unlocked with the plant guy, the gardener. Um, are used to create these ones which we also unlocked already doing the base building missions and then those ones you add thermic condensate, electric carbon, nitrogen, salt and all these other bits too and it, you keep adding them together basically until you end up with the fusion igniter or the stasis device um, at one point you need to, at one point right before the fusion igniter and stasis device you need to add iridocyte or geodesite to the mix um, which again you get from from these other rocks, some of which you'll have crea uh, you'll have collected just battling pirates and stuff in space. Um, yeah, so that's that one. But to begin with, what we want is this one, right? We've got um, Atlas passes. You can buy the Atlas pass one and two, but just create the third one, number three, because it does everything that one and two does. Um, the warp hypercore is a much better version of the warp cell. Um, it will make your hyperdrive last a whole lot longer. Um, it fills it up a lot more than the warp cell does. Um, obviously, we've got our six and four items that our previous video were talking about that we, we refined these six because we didn't have the blueprints to make them outright. Well, this is this is how we get those blueprints and we had to buy these four because we hadn't unlocked them yet either All right. and you'll notice that these four correspond to the, the items above them so your oxygen filter because you're super oxygen oxide crystal a sodium diode because it's stabilized sodium a salt refractor because your chlorine comes from salt a cobalt mirror because it's cobalt yeah you get the point so we're going to start unlocking some of these um, let's do let's do these two now. Let's do we'll go from this side. Okay, and we're just going to keep hunting for more and more of these manufacturing facilities. I'm just going to see if we can get the um, what's it called signal booster to do the trick. I, I want to find out if this trick has been destroyed or not, not painting your carbon nanotubes. Right, let's find out. Locate nearby structures. Will it find a manufacturing facility? No, it's just gone straight for that transmission tower, hasn't it? 
Yeah, so obviously that trick no longer works. That's really quite annoying. It used to be that um, if you used your signal booster right next to a particular building, it would find that same type of building nearby. Um, but that obviously doesn't work anymore. So we are going to have to keep using our maps. So next one of that type is where? An operations center and it is over there. Four hours away on foot, so I'm definitely not going on foot. Now I'm probably not going to unlock all these in this video because that would be a very long, very boring video and I'm sure you get the point. Um, I might do maybe three. I've done one already, I might do another two manufacturing facilities and call it a day and then I'll unlock it all while I'm not filming. Because again, I'm trying to keep these videos as short as humanly possible. I know I've failed miserably at that so far. <laughs> Alright, so, reinforced door again. Alright, I've just failed to save again because I'm thick. Do you know what? That's just in and out, that's one type of save. Is there a save we can be thinking about? Yes. Okay. So, let's go in the door. And let's see what the thing it wants us up of us this time is. Okay, the alert has obscured the information on the primary terminal. I can only make out a few words. Hulong Quidu Quand. Right, I don't know what any of those mean, so I'm going to have to work this out for myself. If I can work out what was being worked on here, I can restart the workflow and restore operations. Right, I'm just going to have to guess, aren't I? Let's guess at drop pod. Right, that was wrong. Alright, so again, reload, either one, doesn't matter. Oh, that's annoying. Again, these these the more words you have learnt, the easier these become. Because it becomes really obvious what they want of you once you once you know what words they're saying. again, we'll go for the second option this time. Starship. Nope, that was wrong too. Okay, reload. it with me in ramps today. I don't seem to get up any of them. Freighter. Boom, that was the right answer. So I might get one or I might get two or yeah, it might just give me a random one. Um, the operation centers do that, giving you a random upgrade thing a lot more often than the um, manufacturing facilities do. Alright, so I need to use another map. Oh, you're yeah, doing these also upgrades your uh, standing with the race um, in that particular system, which is nice. I'm always just under what I need, aren't you? See, I swear that said it had found an ops station, an ops centre, and now it's saying manufacturing facility. Can't seem to make its mind up. I don't care about 
the incoming storm get me to the facility. Why do I feel like this is the facility we were at the first time around? Saved in case I mess it up, it's definitely not the same one. It's off. Something about power. The levels are high, so we want to bring the power levels down by the sounds of it. That's not helpful. Uh, that was wrong then. with these guesses. Like I said, once you've unlocked more of the language with your knowledge stones and talking to aliens and your plaques and monoliths and all that, the more of the words that you've unlocked, the easier these riddles become. Yeah, and it's actually given me a specific formula this time. That's that's something that can also happen. All right, so the chloride lattice is now unlocked from the um, set of blueprints there. All right, let's hunt another one. Manufacturing facility over there. Um, remember, you get these um, maps from the space station by handing in navigation data. You can get navigation data from all over the place. There's um, little red cubes on planets you can get them from. There's um, little gadgets on space stations and in every building on ground. Um, there's all sorts of different places you can um, get them from, the nav data, and you give them to the cartographer on the space station. Set the sentinels, unfortunately. You can get around that by going in and out of atmosphere. The Viking like it when you destroy sentinels, by the way. It's probably why my rank just went up. See some storm crystals on the left there. So we're obviously in the middle of a storm. That's a safe point right there. This will give me um, some nav data as well, most likely. Maybe. Yep, yeah, there we go. Alright, where's the door? Seriously, where's the door? I open a list of military achievement that's waiting for upload. They are images of distant battles, bloodied robots, and vast explosions. Grah! Old honorable warrior retires. Death 
death warrior remuneration. A covering note clearly expects nothing in return, but the author chose not to send it. Let's send the war record, why not? Oh, okay, I didn't know it could do that. It's offered me a, a multi-tool. I don't really want it, because it's rubbish, but I didn't even know that was an option from these things. There you go, you learn something new every day, I guess. Even if you have played 6,000 odd hours of this game. <laughs> and these are the things I'm talking about for the nav data. Sometimes they could be nanites instead. Um, there's lots of different versions of this, not just the orange cubey thing. Any others in here? I'm determined to unlock this slightly more before I end this video. Oh, it's worth remembering as well, if you've been sent to one of these manufacturing facilities on a mission, like specifically sent you here, get to this terminal as quickly as you can because it will time out and you'll have failed the mission if you don't get there quick enough. But usually it doesn't matter, it's only when you're on a mission. Okay, the terminal flashes two alerts, presumably the source of the alarms currently ringing in my ears. Something detected, respiration something something high. Hmm. After printing out its status update, the terminal presents the option to override EVA alert. Right, it said my respiration was high, didn't it? So let's hold my breath. Excellent. Right, so we're back to the proper way that these that we want these to work so we can get nanites or units but we don't want to do that we want recipes so only select nanites and units once you've learnt all your recipes uh, okay so chloride lattice got unlocked um, at the other one that just gave us one for free so we are going to do the salt refractor and the destabilized sodium all right not at half an hour yet, so why not do one more? Oh, that's actually really quite close, so I'm gonna just jetpack it over there. Save my launch thrusters a little bit. Say so, my old front launch thrusters. I guess I am going to have to call it over anyway. There might be a landing thing on a bobby. Somewhere. Yes, there. So I can use it. Yes, alright. I've survived a day on a bad world. Lovely. Yeah, so I'll just use one of my nav datas to call my starship over for free so that won't have used up its um, launch thruster um, energy. Um, you'll find that on a particular planet the layout of each manufacturing facility will be the same and the layout of each operation centre will be the same on that specific planet. Um, 
it won't ever change, it will always be the same design. Okay, my presence has triggered a security alert. I hear elements being drawn from the vaults below me. On screen, a clear countdown. Viking security, something, something, something confirmed. Right, that's not giving me much clues. I can hear pressurized fluids filling the pipes surrounding the terminal. The sound is rather ominous, especially when combined with a high intensity alarm. Um, right, so this could do with something reducing weight. Pick up metal debris, I don't know. Okay. Okay, so it was about reducing weight. It has granted me access. I learned the recipe. And it was obviously the right answer because I got two rather than just one. So let's do the Tetra Cobalt so that I can also get the Cobalt Mirror. Okay, and so you, I hope you're getting the point here. Um, we do this like, a good amount of times and you'll have unlocked the lot of it. Um, we'll just see if one more is fairly close. I wouldn't, that's right, it's picked up a resource depot this time, so we'll end it, end it there. Um, because the supply depots, the resource depots, whatever you want to call them, uh, the thing with the five uh, resource depots to, to destroy, and that's not going to help us at all with this particular thing that we're doing. So, yep, I'll end the video there. Hope you have a nice day, and see you next time.